fucking love the song. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 1, episode 5? Episode 5, yes, 5, episode 5. Uh, of Yellow Jackets. This time the title of the episode is Blood Hive. And we are here, we're back, we're ready for a new episode of Yellow Jackets. I'm really excited for all the episodes. I, I, I feel like you guys have hyped up the, uh, this season uh, and this show so much. And it's truly living up to the potential because I feel like there is so many things, you know, it's the prior, the, the things that happened prior to the crash, crash accident, things happening during the crash accident, you know, the, 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 the car, the crash, I said, the airplane crash, the 19 months, the possible cannibalism, and then the aftermath when they are found and all of that. And then re-enter society. So, I'm excited to see that. I'm excited for all of it. And I am still going to keep my eye very open for Misty. <laughs> uh, Christina Rich is doing a fantastic job. Where I don't know if I should be afraid of Misty. Or should I be just cautious of her. Or maybe she's just... A little bit weird, but actually good. I don't. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, here I am. I'm about to watch episode five, and after this episode six, and if I have the time, episode seven. Just so I have three more episodes to go tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. <coughs> hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted. First on Patreon, in case you guys want to check that out. Link, as always, will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are incredible, and I hope you guys enjoy. And that's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 5 of Yellow Jackets. Here we go.
Um... Uh... And Jackie doesn't seem to be helping at all here. Jackie has now gotten her her uh, necklace back. And we kind of have a confirmation that she is dead. We don't know if... Because the, 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 the girl that goes down and, and gets killed had dark hair. Kind of like Lottie's hair. More so than Jackie's. So could that necklace be passed down into someone else? To symbolize, oh, that's the next person who's going to get eaten or something like that? I don't know. But uh, we know that uh, Lottie, right, has been... um, Has been... She hasn't been having her pills. Uh, do we know what the pills are? Where the pills were? I don't remember because I didn't pause. Or I did pause, but I didn't read the name of it. But she's having these episodes now. Because she's very out of it. You know, she's kind of probably also kind of like with the... Uh, Withdraw symptoms, you know, uh, and her what whatever that pill does for her now is uh, that is gone and out of her system might be like the symptoms might be coming back. And do I believe she's possessed? Not necessarily. <laughs> I do love that Laura Lee was like. The Lord commands you, and like nothing was happening, and then she throws the book at her, at her and then she's and Lottie then is like, "Girl, what the fuck?" <laughs> I don't know how they make this little weird, crazy moments funny, but they do, you know. So it's insane. But the thing is that, um, uh, okay, so. I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, Lottie is not possessed. And Lottie is not feeling anything other than her own psychiatric problems happening, you know? We don't know what it is yet. Because we don't know what, what is it that she's actually taking. So it could be for anxiety, it could be for hallucinations, it could be for all sorts of things, you know. So uh, it could be vitamins, I'm pretty sure it's not vitamins. But it could be for so many things, you know. But I do think that the fact that she has stopped taking them because she doesn't have more is the reason why she's acting the way she's acting right now. Now, she started speaking another language, a language that apparently... Uh, she was not fluent in and she was not good in. Now, Jackie is not is not fluent in it either. And she's not good at in French. And so she was picking words here and there. You know, it, it wants blood and like, you know, shit like that. But she's not, uh, how are we going to rely on her translation when she herself says that she's not good at it at, either? Like now... Lottie could be saying like, you know, oh, we, oui, we, oui, and like shit like that. And like, maybe she's not actually speaking full sentences and just like the one or two words that she knows. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure about the fact that she got possessed by a French, <laughs> out of all people, like a French uh, uh, ghost, right? I don't know. But what I do know is that the guy that lived there had some sort of cult thing going on, right? Uh, And maybe he landed there, decided to live off the land or whatever, and then he died or committed suicide or something like that. And the plane is the plane that he used. And... Honestly, the girls are just out and about. The fact that they were they decided to study how to fucking fly that plane, I don't think it's a bad thing, you know? Um, because either maybe that can give 
a signal to someone or something like that so they can try to find them. Um, it could be, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, I don't oppose to Laura Lee actually reading it up and kind of like trying to figure it out and trying to find, find out how the hell that machine, you know, playing thing works. So, I mean, they were all up for the science thing that went to hell. The minute Lottie started to freak out. So, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but anyways. So, that is happening with the girls in the past. Now, we know that uh, Ty is a lesbian, right? Uh, and I did not want it to be like, oh, I know who uh, who is a lesbian here too. Because, like, let's be real. They're going to be stranded here for a bit. So... I don't know. Shit can happen. You know what I mean? I mean, if they can turn into cannibals, why can't a few of them turn gay? But I was kind of suspicious of, of Van, right? From the get-go. But I was not putting two and two together that she might have had something with her. But okay. Am I mad? No. Do I feel the chemistry? Not necessarily. Um... But, you know, they're hooking up and having fun and why not? And also Nat and 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 and, and, and Travis are also having fun. Um, <laughs> but I do really think that, that Misty is the one behind all of this. She was like, oh, look, there's a piece of dirt here and here and here. And like, you will be like, what the fuck? Like, right? But it was the correct thing and she put like all of it together in a very random way. And oh my God, what does he form? The symbol that they always saw when they were stranded back uh, in the day, you know. So did Misty kill Travis? I'm not going to sit here and pretend that maybe she she did. I think she did. Uh, do I believe that she's the one doing this? Yes. Also, because didn't I told you about the owl thing? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that she's like, the hair poodle looking like person. <laughs> I fucking love Nat, honestly. But, you know, I knew that that shit had a webcam. It had an audio thing. It was something. It was. It wasn't as innocent as it might seem because it never is with Misty you know so I was like something is up and now I fully do believe that Misty is the one trying to bring the group back together or some shit like that you know Shauna is the one that really does want to keep her arms you know at, at, at arm's length you know and uh, smart lady uh, Nat kind of needed her help, but like knowing Misty, like, why will you ask? Right. And we know that she's, she's weird. She is, she's the Mon Monchester syndrome in person. Right. So I just don't trust her. I'm kind of afraid, but also could this be more? Because like we're in episode five out of 10 episodes will they flat out just point out point out who is the one doing all of this right on episode five i don't know you know um the the teacher the coach you know that is getting advanced in uh, poison by misty he is very scared i think of her and he is like okay so to keep her calm are we going to pretend like I do have feelings for her just so she ca calms down and once we are out, I can, like, ditch this bitch, you know? I think he that's what he's thinking. I don't think he wants to actually have a relationship with her or anything like that because then he also pointed out that he's the teacher and it's not appropriate and, and or anything like that, you know? So, um, but I don't know. I don't know if that's that's a good move for him. Because, like, we might end up doing crazy shit for, to the poor guy. We don't know if he survived. So far, we don't know. So far, I think we have had confirmation that Jackie is dead. Now, is it Jackie the same person that was chased 
down i don't know because i don't remember her face <laughs> but i think that was lottie i don't know her hair seemed like lottie i'm actually gonna re-watch that first part of the episode of the first episode um but anyway so that happened then in the other uh timeline or like in the present time uh shauna is seeing jackie because she feels guilty uh I don't know about what exactly. I'm going to guess. Also, Shauna is pregnant. Okay. But here's the thing with with that. Is that um, it doesn't add up. In the sense of like, if Shauna is pregnant right now, a few weeks into uh, them, right, uh, missing... And then they were missing for 19 months. You follow me? That means that her daughter was born in the wildness, wilderness, right? But the, the, the girl doesn't seem to have any memories of it. Did they kept that from her? Did they change the date of when she was born? Or... Did she lost the baby and then she gets actually pregnant with Jeff... Once she comes back. I don't know. There's this, that little nugget there. Um, anyways. Uh, her daughter. In the other hand. <laughs> thought. Oh. I hit the mind goal. You know. My mom is cheating on my dad. So now I'm going to blackmail her into. You know. Letting me do whatever the fuck it is that I want to do. And like. You don't mess with Shauna, honestly. And I love that. I love her for that. Because she's like, okay, you want to tell you that? Okay. That means that, you know, the, the little money money we have saved for your college uh, will go to lawyers. Your dad will have to move out. He will be sad. He will be going through it. You will have to, you know, say goodbye to your weekends because you will have to spend your weekends with your dad in, in another house. After that, you have to start giving him advice on how to date and things like that. And like, you know, just flat out telling her how her life will be so much more difficult if she tells her dad that she's cheating on him. So badass move, honestly. And the girl was like, Kelly was like, God fucking damn it, <laughs> mom. Honestly, you wouldn't mess. I wouldn't mess with her to be to be real. Um, <laughs> and she just like goes goes out, and then Jeff is like, "Oh yeah, yeah, she really does have an attitude." Jeff is like the most clueless idiot in the planet. But anyways, he's also cheating, as far as we know, right? So yeah, and then you have the shit happening with Ty, who is also now having hallucinations about a wolf. And then her son, who I don't know if that kid is possessed or that kid needs psychological help because like her, Ty, sees a wolf and now she also sees this man creature thing that has no eyes. And I'm sitting here kind of like, the fuck? So is it possible that her kid also sees dead people and the lady in the tree is actually real and makes him do the shit that he you know because I don't believe that the lady in the tree actually painted a spell on her door but why that word specifically you know so I'm kind of concerned about the kid but I'm also terrified at him because like children like being weird it's always scary. Always. Always. You know. So I don't know what the hell is going to happen there. Oh. Oh. The way I want to die. The way I want to. I, I, honestly, if I was Sammy's mom, one of them, I would be like, my child needs therapy. There are things he's not processing in the right way. And so I'm going to need actual help so he can snap out of this whatever it is you know so because 
I wouldn't go as far as Ty to just accuse him, not believe him, things like that. But I wouldn't sugarcoat everything he does either, like the other mom does, you know. So I wouldn't be either of them. I would be the one to say, okay, this this shit is happening. We don't know what is happening. We are apparently not being able to handle it. We need professional help. Therapist. Let's go. Therapist or exorcism. One of the those have to work. I'm just saying. Um, anyways. Uh, that was the episode. Yeah, that was the episode. And Ty, in the past, knows that Shauna is pregnant. Eventually, she's going to show, I'm going to guess. Uh, or they're going to ask Misty, Hey, you know, do you have any kind of plan that can get rid of the baby or something like that? It could also happen because, like, right? Why will she want to have her baby in the wilderness, you know? Uh, we will see, I guess. We will see. Anyways, this episode was great. It was kind of scary. And it was great. As every single episode that I have watched of Yellow Jackets so far. So, I am excited for uh, the next episode. And I hope you guys are excited as well. So give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, on cut reaction as always. Poster for some patron. I'm going to watch one more episode for today. So I hope you guys continue supporting and continue, you know, uh, liking my reactions. And yeah, for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. I cannot wait to watch all... Well, for now, we have three main ladies from the past that are alive, that we know are alive. Nat, Shauna and Ty, you know, so we have all three of them, plus Misty, right, so I would like to, I would love to see them in a, in a room, just yelling at each other, I don't know, I think it would be badass, because the actresses are so badass, so I will be very excited if I can see that, anyways, that's it, thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, on cut reaction, always post the first on Patreon, thank you for watching, you guys are incredible, and for now, that's it, uh, yeah, that's it, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Yellow Jackets, that's it, Mwah. bye guys.